we have other options in concrete which produce a similar opportunity to reoccupy the building and carry on doing business with very small amount of repairs. We call them low damage buildings. Over here we've got the main seismic walls of the press building. Press is one option. There's another series of options, slotted beams and non-tearing floors. The conventional concrete buildings are designed to move in an earthquake, use up a lot of earthquake energy, but they're severely damaged, typically at the ends of the beams and the base of the columns. But a slotted beam simply is that. There is a slot between the column and the end of the beam that runs up the beam. The top of the beam, where the floor is, acts like a hinge or a pin. So when the building uh, moves sideways, the beam and columns just move relative to each other at that pin. So the concrete isn't being smashed or ground up like it is in a conventional building. And we're using steel tubes to debond the bars this time? Yeah, we're using steel tubes with quite a thick... We still have steel in the bottom of the beam running across the slot, but that steel's debonded. So it acts like a fuse, and it stretches in, in, in tension and compresses and yields and uses up the energy just like a conventional building but with very, very little damage. It's about 2% premium on the cost of the beam structure. It's simply reconfiguring the connections. What we're looking at here is a, um, a, the final proof of concept of the non-tearing floor slotted beam project. So this is sort of the culmination of a major government-sponsored research program. It's a two-thirds scale building. This particular specimen is going to be put through a simulated earthquake which will probably be worse than anything we've been through here in Christchurch. We are confident that it's going to perform very, very well and, and be the last sort of evidence for people taking up this technology. This form of system or something like it is what we want to use to rebuild Christchurch. One of the biggest problems with our conventional systems is that the floors are severely damaged. As a result, the building's a loss. It might still be standing, but you can't reoccupy it, you can't repair it. The second big thing about slotted beams and non-tearing floors, literally is its name, non-tearing floors, because it's hinged at the top, right at floor level, the amount of cracking is two, three mils, not the 30, 40 mils we get in a conventional building. There's a minimum premium, 2% on structure, and we end up avoiding all the problems which cause loss of building in our conventional system. New Zealand, as a construction community, is very strongly orientated towards concrete. Particularly in the Canterbury area, the dominant core of the buildings, the floors, the lateral load resisting system, the foundations will always be concrete. The heavier buildings, which are concrete, which are pre-fireproofed, nice architectural finishes, really suit base isolated structures. All the great opportunities for really high class buildings still exist in concrete. There's a strong feeling in the industry that we can't really continue to build in the current form. We really have to move as a community to these future buildings. Unless there's a demonstrative attempt to build better performing buildings, that will be used as an excuse to make insurance extremely expensive and unobtainable in New Zealand in the future. To me, there's a lot of drivers. Life safety, economic recovery, maintenance of social, the social fabric, reinsurance all point to the fact that we really have to move forward with these future building systems. And the Department of Building and Housing, the Royal Commission, are all looking at these future building systems very, very positively saying that's where we've got to go.